Hello. Hi. I'm just filming something. Filming a video. Just want to say hello. Hello. Very beautiful. Polish? Yes, yes. <laughs> From Krakow? No, we are studying in Krakow, but we are not living here. Are oh, you not living here? Living here, yeah. You just came down uh, as a tourist? Uh, we're studying uh, in Krakow, but we are come from uh, the east side of the Poland. Oh, I see. <laughs> I just came here um, two days ago, and the uh, city is unbelievable. It's beautiful. I'm from London. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a lo lovely city, lovely people. And how long do you stay here? Uh, just for a few days, uh, leaving tomorrow, so I'm sad. But, uh, so I didn't expect it. I thought Poland would be okay, but I was surprised the people are very nice, very happy. <laughs> and the city just, and the women are beautiful. I have to say I'm half Irish, so... But, um, yeah, it's a very nice city. Thank you. So, so yeah, the scenery is nice. Oh, this is lovely. Is it the castle? Yeah, we came to visit. <laughs> you came to visit? <laughs> you look the same. You're sisters. No. no. You're not sisters. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you, all right, pleasure, Johnny. I'm going to keep going, sightseeing. Lovely to meet you, all right? Dominika, yeah. how do you say bye in uh, Polish? How do you say goodbye in Polish? Do widzenia. <laughs> Same time. Do widzenia. Do widzenia. Do widzenia, do widzenia. all right. Do widzenia. <laughs> hey, fellas, how you doing? It's Johnny. I thought in today's video, as always, I'd give you guys uh, some extra value. I wanted to give you something that would really help you. I wanted to share some tips of you, tips and ideas to get your mind moving, expanding, and get you out of the house, socialising and overcoming your anxiety or social anxiety and communicating with women. At least getting you out of the house, that would be a good start for you guys that are stuck at home, watching a lot of my videos, getting all the information but not applying it. So what comes to mind to me? I'm in Poland, Krakow, States. And I was just saying to my friend Junior, I can't believe how relaxed it is here compared to London and I think that's a good thing because when I first started with learning day game and meeting women I, yes I was very shy but kind of my personality was geared towards more the cocky stuff having fun showing off and then I realized as I got more experience in the game of meeting women that you can actually be in a very relaxed normal state and you can still be in a good mood so I know my face looks very serious I'm like this I've not long woken up but I'm in a very good relaxed state and I was out of junior last night we had an amazing time with some girls and it's because it was in a very easy going state. So that's, something, that's the first tip I want to give you, because lots of men who are shy, who have got anxiety, feel that their current state isn't enough. So when you feel your state is not enough, you're basically reinforcing that you're not enough. So I'm not saying accept that you're in a bad mood, be negative. I'm saying get out of the house and accept, you know, just being in a relaxed mood to start with. Being relaxed is very good. If you've got anxiety, obviously you're going to find it hard to relax. So one of the tips I do is, as I've said always, I accept the feelings. So the feelings on a, on a day could be good. The feelings could be feeling more in your head, feeling more nervous. But if you accept the feelings, eventually, just for accepting them, your psychology will be kinder to you. You can then start moving into socialising women, speaking to them, giving compliments. You've seen me do it in the video so many times. I'll keep repeating it. Check out the members area. Check out the other parts of the channel. So accepting the feelings and then working from that place. So if you feel insecure, if you feel nervous, go over, speak to women from that place. Then you're not really changing too much. You're just accepting your state, but you're still going forward. So basically what I'm saying to you is, come out of the house, take the pressure off yourself. Don't feel that you have to change personalities. You have to be like me or somewhere else. Just be yourself. And guys get annoyed when I say that, especially in the dating world, because they think, well, I can't be myself. It wouldn't work. Well, it will. You've got to build your confidence up from where you're at. So you do that. Another tip I find is, I've said this many times, I'm going to stress it even more, and I learned this myself in Poland, not being outcome dependent. And to be quite frank, when you're first starting out, you're probably not going to get the results that you're dreaming about anyway to start with. And bear with me when I say that, don't freak out. So you're probably not going to get laid with the most attractive girl. You're not going to get numbers. You're not going to get dates to start with. But these things will happen quickly. What you will find is you'll get something better. You'll start enjoying yourself. You'll start accepting yourself more. The basic, simple things that you think wouldn't do much will massively improve your state, your self-confidence, your self-esteem, your, uh, your congruency, your alignment, all those things I talk about and I write about in my blog. So not being outcome dependent takes all the pressure off. So like I've said, come out of the house, accept yourself, move towards saying hello to people, conversations, you know. And I was writing on my blog this morning. Sorry, my hair is in the way. It's really annoying. So I was writing on my blog, I was just saying that guys don't realise that day game or speaking to women is a metaphor for improving yourself socially. So it doesn't always have to be hitting on attractive women. 
to attract attractive women. You can speak to an old man, you can speak to the guy in the shop, you can ask for directions, you just got to get yourself involved. I know from myself, coming from a very introverted place, it was hard for me to get out of my head and to do this, speaking to a camera or to say hello to someone. So you have to take these small, practical, progressive steps to building up your state socially. So um, that's one of the good tips I'm going to give you. I'm going to see you at the next location. I'm going to give you some more tips, all right? So, fellas, this is, oh, this is so lovely. Look at this beautiful. It's lovely here. So, right, where was I? Yes. So you've left the house. You've accepted your mood. You've started to say hello to people. You're overcoming that awkward feeling. Now you're going to feel a little, be a little bit better. What I want to say to you now is, now you can change the mindset. I'm going to contradict myself. Now you can start being more outcome dependent. So when you first came out of the house, the key was, or the job was, not to be outcome dependent, not to try and get numbers, not to think about getting laid and meeting women. It's too far ahead. It's just to get the first steps moving, get yourself, um, I'm struggling today myself. Look, I've just came out. It happens to me sometimes. Right, give me a second. Yes, just to get yourself out of the house and just to get yourself motivated and speaking to people. Once you start to feel better, you can push in further. You can start being more daring. You can say, right, I'm gonna have more fun now. I wanna start teasing women. I wanna start asking women out. Just really getting yourself involved, having fun. I find when I'm in that state, the most amazing thing happens. Just the law of attraction. I start attracting more women in. I find that I get out of my head more. I'm sure it's the same for you guys. I'm not a self-conscious. I'm not thinking about what to say next. The lines are just coming out. And then when I come out of the situation, I say, fucking hell, how did I say that? How did I do that? How did, that was so amazing. That, that went so well. And that's because, that's because you've become more present. You're more in the moment. And when we're more present, we're not in our head. We're not in our mind. We're not self-conscious thinking, what does this person think about me? Does this girl like me? Am I saying the wrong things? There's no time for that. It's the best place to be at. That's where the freedom's at. And that's what I was talking about earlier. This is a better feeling. And believe me, I've been doing this a long time and I'll challenge your mind today. This is probably a better feeling than getting laid with a very attractive girl, going on dates, getting numbers. It's the feeling of connecting to the self-love, uh, feeling in state, feeling good, forgetting about everything, just you and the girl having a chat or you and the guy, if you swing that way, and uh, you and people. And that's a great feeling. And that's an elevated level of state of consciousness where you're really feeling good. And then you can go to another level where you can feel that way, but you're not too overexcited. You're not too unhappy you're just in the middle and I think that's one of the best places to be at and these are all elevated states these are very simple concepts I'm giving you but they're very powerful and like I said what we do on the street we do in our life we take into our life so if you practice this on the street you practice this with a family you practice with your friends you practice this on a first date you practice this if you go home with a girl and you build a connection with her you practice in a relationship you're practicing being more in control of your mind and your body and ultimately uh, being more happy is pretty simple. It's a metaphor for enjoying your social life and enjoying being in your own body, right? So off to the next location. Final thoughts, guys. I want to leave you with this. So what I want to say to you is, I want you to be a master of your own mind. And I want you to do that by collecting reference points. So you collect reference points through going out and having um, social interactions with people and getting good experiences and some negative experiences. So for example, in a video, you notice I've done a quick demonstration going over to those two Polish girls, keeping it very simple, very basic, just saying, hey, you know, you look nice, find you attractive, just honest small talk, not small talk in the sense of talking rubbish, you're speaking your mind, but you're just breaking the ice, giving value, saying hello to people, getting that warm reaction, reinforcing in your psychology that you are enough, you are attractive, you've got the right to go out and speak to women. Women do want to be approached if it's done in the correct way, if you're congruent, you're honest, and you're working from the right place, which I know you guys are, you're working towards getting there. And that's a great way to change your psychology. So that nagging voice we get in our head, oh, this person said that, or I'm not good enough, or society saying this, I'll be the master of my own mind. I change my own story, I change my mind through going out, changing my perception through the practicality of speaking to women. And what that will do is, when you do simple things and you get good reactions, you're creating in your psychology a reward system. You're, psych you're saying to your psychology, you're coaxing into saying, I'm okay, I've got this far, this has gone well. I've got the confidence and the courage and the motivation to go to the next step and go further. So the metaphor is what I would teach on a boot camp or a six weeks program. I compliment the girl, I get a good reaction. Well, obviously, why don't I take the conversation further? I'll have a good conversation. I'm talking about a student when I say this, and myself in the past and sometimes in the present. If I've had a good conversation, why don't I take it further next time when I feel the connection's right? Why don't I ask for a phone number? Then I get the phone number. Obviously, why don't I text and invite her out? So every stage you're going up to improve your reference points, you are going to experience 
or your, your you know, uncomfortableness. You're going to get a, you're going to get a little bit of rejection. But the most important thing is you're going to get success, and you're literally transforming your reality. You're changing your mind. You're becoming a master of your mind, as I said, and you're shaping the world in the way you want to see it. And that's how you become more attractive. It's no bullshit. It's not about reading theory, unless it's my theory, of course, on my blog. That's a little bit of a joke. But it's generally about going out, challenging your fears, and speaking to people. It's very easy. It's coming out of the house. It's getting in a good mood. It's accepting who you are. But it's not, it's not accepting who you are in the sense of staying at home and being complaining all the time, going out, speaking to women, and changing your reality through changing your reference points through going out, speaking to women. And it's really simple. So go and put those three those three practical ways or steps into action and let me know how it works out for you. This is what I teach on my boot camps and this is the, one of the core foundations of, of what I teach and how it's improved my dating life. And as I said, something so simple that anyone can do will have such a profound effect on your dating life, all right? Thanks for listening, guys. Uh, enjoy the process. Please like, share my videos. If you want to see, of course, more uh, advanced techniques and day game and how to meet and attract women, take things further, check out my members area. If you want to get in touch, take a boot camp or work with me, go to my website. And remember, I offer lots of free content on my website. There's loads of videos, there's loads of articles. So go to www.johnnybow.com. Till then, take action, talk is cheap. Enjoy the process. Thank you.